Hi, welcome to my craft room. Today is going to be the first of my YouTube videos. Um, it's entitled Resin Creations. Um, there's a few steps that take place before you start creating with resin. One of them is the mixture of the resin. I'm not going to take you through all that, but I am going to tell you this. I weigh my resin rather than measure, and um, it's a lot easier because you can clear your scale and then start all over. So I'm going to get it mixed up. It takes three to five minutes, and then we will come back with the project. See you soon. Okay, so my resin is ready. It's nice and clear. Always wear rubber gloves working with resin because it gets messy. The resin that we're using is Cast and Glow, Art and Glow, whoops, Art and Glow Casting Resin. So, um, here we go. I'm going to move you over here so you can see better. And get to this thing. All right, so you know hearts are like my favorite. So my first project is going to be a heart. I'm just going to make one, I think. So I'm going to put some um, kind of like tinsel, glitter, it's foil. I thought it would be cute because she wanted royal blue. So this is royal blue. Now what's going to happen when I begin to decorate it, I don't know. So we're going to find out together. So I'm putting my glitter in first. Is there any rules? Not that I know of, but I choose to put the glitter in first. And then I'm going to slowly pour my resin on top. Again, I'm not sure what the reaction will be. So that's how much resin I'm going to, oops, I'm going to use in this project for, these, for that heart. And I have my plastic tablecloth on. Now the glitter isn't really moving. So I'm going to stir it up because I want it to be mixed in my project. And you see those bubbles we're getting? That's because the air bubbles underneath the glitter. And so we want them to rise. So that's a good thing. Now we know that they're lifting up. So once I get the glitter moving all around, you know what, I think I'm just going to keep this one glittery, but that won't be her color. So let me go ahead and we have one that's just blue because I like that. And then you can see, uh, let's see. All right, so glitter's in this one. All right, so I'm going to do another one with the, with the glitter. And then I'm going to put the alcohol in. Get the air bubbles out. Stir those glitters in. And I think the reason everybody likes alcohol ink and resin is because when you put the resin in the alcohol inks, it has a reaction. And it's just like it just comes to life. So it's kind of fun to watch it. All right, so her other colors were um, purple and yellow. So we got the blue. Let's put in a couple of drops of yellow. I'm just going to put them in randomly. You can't see them. So on top of that, I'm going to put the white, and I'm just going to keep on. This is um, pinata purple, and I should have said, I don't know, the other one was ranger yellow. This is pinata purple. This is pinata white.
This is Ranger. Oops, where's my blue? Oh, Ranger Blue. Even though we do have the uh, glitter in there that's blue. So what I'm hoping for, I want this to go underneath the glitter. And so you're going to see, I'm going to keep on adding weight. And now I'm going to switch up the design because I want this to sink down. Hopefully we'll get a nice design at the top and one at the bottom. This time I did five yellows. I'm going to go back and I'm going to do five whites. I'm going to grab the pinata purple. Oh, look at that. And do five purples. I think it's getting some resistance from resistance from the glitter because as you can see in this one, the glitter is sinking down. So I'm going to just wake this glitter up and get it moving around because I don't want it sinking down. So hopefully the chemical reaction of the alcohol inks will move this glitter around, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to do five whites. I'm going to do, this is um, Ranger Indigo, five. Going to do another five white. We're getting some pretty design on the side. I'm going to do five yellow. Five pinata sapphire blue. I'm going to, I don't really want to mess up the size, but I'm going to five, one, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do a couple more drops in here. Where was I? I don't know. We'll go with indigo. Five yellows. Five yellows. Five whites. One, two, three, four, five. Go back for the yellow. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hope you guys can see what's going on in here. All right, so we did yellow. We're going to do purple again. One, two, three. Do some weight. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yellow and blue. One, two, one, two, one, two. So blue is in there. We'll do one, two, three whites, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll do Three yellows, 
and we're gonna stop one two three one two three one two three Purple passion, that looks so pretty, right? Can you see that, you guys? One, one, oops, one, two, one, two. I really want to put one more white on there. But I know this is going to move around on its own. So I'm gonna just kind of leave it and see what it's gonna do. Can you see that action? The lighting in my room is so bad. I hope you guys are seeing this. I'm just turning into like a paisley. And I'm hoping that the chemical reaction of the inks is stirring up the um, glitter that we put in. All right, you guys, so now we're going to do what they call a peachy dish. So I'm going to move this beautiful thing over and let it continue. And then we're going to do a peachy dish. So I think we're already really close up on this. We'll get our resin, it's already ready. And it's, it has like 45 minutes that you can play around in it. So the Petri dish is usually just a pour. I guess I can, I just don't want to overflow this thing. Okay, so we have a clean um, Petri dish here. And we're going to get some different colors, just for fun. We're going to get some reds and pinks. We'll still keep Jennifer's colors. Okay, so we're going to add some different colors to this one. You see a couple of bubbles, they're not that worried. I always like to start off with white. So I'm just going to put some circles in here. Let it fill up the space. I'm even going to put white inside of white. How about that? All right, so the space is pretty filled up. And now I'm going to put in, this is, um, what's the color? Watermelon. And this is Ranger alcohol inks. So I'm not going to follow any pattern. I'm just going to drop it where I want to. Then I'm going to put white right on top of those. And I'm going to use one of my blues I like. This is um, Ranger and this is I don't know. They make it hard to find the color. Some kind of aquamarine, I think. I don't know. It's a blue, though. Look at that. And I think I'm just going to do right in the middle. Four, five. Five in the middle and change colors. How about that? So I'm going to have five in the middle. And then on my outside, I'm going to have yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And then I think I'll do yellow on top of yellow. There's no rhyme or reason to the skies. When you do yours, you can do them any way you want. Now I'm going to do three whites.
I'm going to open back up those cells that closed down. And I'm going to add some purple where I want to. And then I'm going to, again, come back with white. Notice I'm coming back with the white every time because I want to see my colors. So now I will get my blue. Now blue and yellow makes green so i am going to do white but i'm going to do yellow where the white is right now yellow 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 and then i'm going to come in and do white white Starting to see some action in here. We haven't done red in a while, have we? So let's do some red. Where are we gonna? So red and blue makes purple. We know that. Red and yellow makes orange. Red in the middle is a bullseye, and we need one more, one more over here. Purple. So I think I still, there's no other colors because all these colors I'm mixing and adding colors. Let's see what color we don't seem to have. Uh, yeah, magenta is a pretty bold color. So I'm going to go in. This is going to be so pretty, I can tell. I'm going to go in with some white. So I can introduce magenta. So magenta will have its own little stage. I shake it up. And this is a pinata color. Notice I'm trying to grab those Oh, that looks so pretty, and I opened it up. That looks so different. Is it going to stay like that? Probably not. So I'm going to leave that like that. I think we got plenty of ink in there to be doing its own thing. I think that's beautiful right now. I hope you guys are seeing um, the alcohol inks kind of like coming to life. I could do one more drop of white, but as you can see, it's kind of moving around on its own and it's going to make its own design. I don't want to overdo it with the white because in between every color, you so saw I, I did put white in. And now um, I <clears throat> finished it off with the foreign color, magenta, just because, you know, to add some contrast. Like all the other colors were primary colors that would mix and make other colors. Like you can see the green, you'll see some pinks, but we didn't have one that was, you know, that would really get light and bright. So look at that. That's pretty and it's not done yet. Now I'm going to bring you back over to our hearts. Here's what's going on with the hearts. The blue, the blue sparkle heart is settling down again, so I'm going to stir that up because I don't want the sparkles settling down. Shortly, the resin will start to thicken and it will hold those sparkles up. But in the meantime, I'm just going to stir through them 
and unsettle them. Now I'm not liking what's going on here in this one with our um, alcohol inks. So I am going to disturb this one. I'm going to add some white in there to wake up the party. Because like what is going on? Nobody told those guys. Just settle down. And in this one, we just had purple, blue, and um, purple, blue, and yellow. So let's get this party started again. Purple. Where's our colors at? Blue, And yellow. In the meantime, we will stir this up again. Bringing those buckles to the top. And this is going to be nice because it's going to be transparent. So you'll see through it and you'll see the sparkle. Now I got a feeling. That one side of our other heart is just going to be all sparkles. And then the other side, which is the top that we're looking at now, that's not looking very interesting, is going to stay that way. So I'm just going to stir this up around the edges. Just to start a little something, something in there. If it's a dark heart, that's okay. Ooh, you can tell it's going to be pretty muddy if I keep that up. And I see some movement going on in there now. I think I'm gonna I know red wasn't in there, Jennifer, but red sometimes is very reactive. I'm going to drop some more purple, or maybe not, maybe that will push around the ink. I don't want to put another dark color in there. I'm going to stir up. A sparkly one again with our royal blue sparkles. Keep those sparkles moving.
And I'll probably even uh, sprinkle some more in there. I don't know what's happening. So yellow was in here too. Let me kill. Yeah, I'm going to brighten this up because I don't see no light in here. Alright, you guys, so I think that's the end. That's um, all the alcohol ink I'm going to put in there, but I hope it does move the glitter around. I'm not sure what we're going to get with this. But again, you see the reaction of the alcohol ink, the resin, and this is what is so addictive. It's like it takes on a life of its own. Sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. I'm learning how to control my pieces when I do have a plan. But when it's like this and I'm just doing something really abstract, I um, kind of just see what I come up with. But, you know, so let's go back over to our PT dish for a minute. This is what it's looking like. It looks like it's going to be very pretty, doesn't it? So I can't wait to see the outcome, you guys. I will see you in the morning. Please like share and comment. I'll be happy to hear what you have to say about this and I will post the finished product in the morning. Bye.